Hello everyone, Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts here, back with a new stitch tutorial. Today we're going to be learning everything there is to know about the front post half double crochet stitch. This is very similar to front post double crochet stitches, but obviously we're using a half double crochet instead of a double crochet, so the space that we're working in does look a little bit different. I'm going to teach you not only how to do the basic stitch, but also how to work it in the round how to do a front post half double crochet decrease, and more. So let's get right into the tutorial. Just a quick note on materials, I am using worsted weight yarn and a G hook, but you can use any combo of yarn and hook that you personally prefer when you're practicing this stitch. So I've started out with just a little row of half double crochet. I have 12 here. And we're going to go ahead and turn and get right into the tutorial. So there's two ways you can start a half double crochet row. I'll just go through them quickly. You can either chain two, turn, and then have that chain two count as a stitch and not work in this first chain, or you can just chain one, have the chain not count as a stitch, and then half double crochet in the very first stitch. That's what I like to do. So I'll go ahead and do it now. There's my first half double crochet. Okay, I'm gonna do another half double crochet and then we're gonna jump right into the front post half double crochet. So when we're looking at these stitches, we're again gonna be working around the post of the half double crochets, which is not this top V like normal, but instead around the whole body of the stitch right down here. So when I'm looking at this, Half double crochet is a little bit weirder to figure out where to go because they tend to lean slightly to the side. So I'm going to just count from the beginning if I ever am feeling stuck and find each stitch. So here's the, my first, the first body of my first stitch. Here's the body of my next stitch. So one and then here's the second one. Here is the third one. So it almost looks like this is the stitch I just worked into, but the truth is it's not actually. This is our first one, this is our second one, and this is our third one. If we turn this around, here's that second stitch. See how it leans to the right. And so from the other, from this side, it looks perfectly normal, but when we turn it around, it looks like we're about to go in the wrong stitch, but we're not. This is the body. Of the stitch that we want to work around. So to make my front post half double crochet, I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go around that stitch that we just talked about, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And there is our front, our first front post half double crochet. Let's do that again. So once you find the first one, it's pretty easy to find the next one because it's just like a regular front post double crochet. We go around, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull th through two. Okay, so now let's practice doing a regular half double crochet and finding where that is. So I always like to look at the back if I'm in any doubt. So here, is the first stitch that we did one and two i'm just looking at the v's here here's the third v so that is the next stitch that we're going to go in is this one right here so again it could kind of confuse you and you might think you're supposed to go in this one next but no if we turn it around that's our second v which means we've already worked in the post of that stitch we want to go in this one right here so let me yarn over and we're going to go right into that stitch so now we have two regular half double crochets, two front posts, and then one regular. Let me do one more regular into the next, and we'll practice finding the post again. So from here, we can look at the posts again. We did two regulars, so we're going to count the posts of two at the bottom. Here's the raised ones. We don't want to count those. So we're going to count one, two, three, and we're going to go around this third one. There's our front post, and again our front post, and now we've made two sets. Alright, so that is the basics 
of a front post half double crochet. If I just keep going here until the end, you do want to keep in mind that you always want to start and end your row with a regular half double crochet. So here I have two stitches left. So I'm going to do one front post. And then I'll just end by going in this very first half double crochet that I made. And here's my last stitch. So if I were doing this in actual pattern, I would have 13 so that it worked out evenly. So I had two front post half double crochets here, just like over here. But this was just for demonstration purposes. Usually when you're doing a front post half double crochet, it will be in a very specific pattern. You won't necessarily just be working them all across a row. So now let's say that you have a pattern that works front post half double crochets in the round. It's actually very simple to do these in the round. So I just have a small little round swatch here with a row of half double crochet and double crochet underneath it. We're just going to be working obviously into this half double crochet round though. So to make a front post half double crochet in the round, it's going to feel pretty much the same. The main thing you have to keep in mind is the first and last stitches for the joining portion. So if you need to start out right away with a front post half double crochet, I recommend doing just one chain and then starting off right away by going around your stitch. Now the only difference you may notice here is that we have a right side row here around. So it's not going to look exactly the same because we're used to doing it on the back side of a row since we're turning. Since you don't have to turn in the round, this won't always be the case. The process is just the same though. Still going around the stitch, yarning over, pulling through, yarning over, and pulling through. So there I've made two of them. You can see that chain stitch there just kind of gives us a little basis to start us out. So now let's look at the back, count two V's to make sure we don't increase on accident. Insert our hook into that third V to make our regular half double crochet. Make two regulars. And now two front posts. Now there may be times when you need to do a front post half double crochet decrease. This is also known as a front post half double crochet two together, the stitch is sometimes called. So let's learn that really quickly. So I'm going to yarn over like normal. I'm going to insert my hook just like normal, like I'm making another front post half double crochet, but I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, then yarn over again and this time put my hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through now i should have five loops on my hook and i'm just going to yarn over and pull through all of them and that gives us a front post half double crochet decrease now alternatively you can also do it a little bit less bulky by starting again but instead of yarning over, just inserting your hook into the next one and pulling up. This way you'll only have four loops rather than five. Then yarn over and pull through. So those are both valid ways to do it. it looks like this one gives a little bit more of a hole right here. So it'll just depend on the pattern you're following. Okay, so the last technique we're going to do is a standing front post half double crochet. This is when we join a different yarn to a project without doing any kind of slip stitch or chains. We're just doing the stitch right off the bat. So this is great for working in the round doing color changes specifically. So I'm going to grab my little swatch again and you can start anywhere around it. Um, Probably if you're joining, you'll want to start near the joining area, but follow your specific pattern. So I've made a slip knot on my hook. I am just going to 
yarn over, keep the knot towards the bottom, and then anchor those things with your thumb. Now we're going to insert our hook around one of the stitches, whichever one you want to start with, yarn over, pull it through, all while kind of keeping these secure. I kind of move with my pointy finger after I pull it through. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through. Now when I pull through, I like to hold this keeping the knot down with my left hand because otherwise it will slide up and won't quite work. So I'm just going to pull through like that. And there we have our standing stitch. So from here, you could continue making front post half double crochets in your new color. And if you look at it, there's no slip stitch, no weird bulky join. You just joined with the stitch and you could go all the way around and join with the slip stitch to the top of that. And it just makes for a much cleaner color change. So there's a few front post half double crochets started around this round. So not too hard, pretty simple. And that is the last thing I had planned for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning all these different techniques with the front post half double crochet. Let me know which one is new to you or which one you're going to try next in the comments. I'd love to hear. And if you enjoyed this video, here are some follow-up videos you might want to check out next about more post stitches. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to come subscribe to Desert Blossom Crafts for lots more crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Bye!